Page 305, number 27. Sketch the graph of f and g in the same coordinate plane. So we're graphing both of these functions. Let's start with the first one. f of x equals the sine of x. Well, we could create a table of values. We could get out our calculator and graph this. But we should recognize this graph. f of x equals the sine of x. Sine, our sine curve will, unless we shift it horizontally or vertically, it will start at the origin. So our basic sine curve will start right here. It's going to curve up and down from here. OK. It's going to have a period of 2 pi units. So I'm going to go over here and mark on my axis 2 pi. We'll also put a mark here for pi and for pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. The number in front of the sine of x is 1, so I'm going to just put a 1 here and a negative 1 down below it. And the graph will go up and down and up and start repeating every 2 pi units. So at pi, we're going to also go through that x-axis at pi over 2 and negative pi over 2, or excuse me, at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, we're going to have maximum and minimum values. So our graph of that first function is going to look something like this. And it will continue on forever in both directions. OK, that's that first function. The second function, g of x equals negative 4 times the sine of x. Now, how does that negative 4 make things a little different. First of all, the negative is going to flip this graph across the x-axis. So instead of going up and down, it's going to start by going down and then up. Second of all, that 4 is going to stretch this out so it's 4 times as tall and 4 times, I guess, 4 times as low here. So that scale I had where I marked 1, I'm going to mark 2, 3, and 4, and negative 2, 3, and 4. So I'm going off my axes a little bit. So what I'm going to have here, this graph, instead of going up, down, and up again, it's going to start by going down. It'll go down four times as much. So it's going to go down right to here, come back up, go through that x-axis, then go up four times as much, and then come back here and go through 2 pi, and then repeat and do the same thing. So let me try to get a smooth curve of this graph. It's going to go down here to that point. It's going to curve upward and then curve down and will continue forever in both directions. Now just to verify this, let's get out our graphing calculator and I'm going to press my y equals key and let's type both of these in here. So I'm going to type in y equals the sine of x and let's type our second function y equals negative 4 times the sine of x. Now, if I just press graph, I might not see what I want to see, so I'm going to press my zoom key. And look at that seventh choice, Z trig. That'll zoom right in on a trigonometric set of axes. There's my first graph and my second graph. So my first one, you can see, goes up one, then down. My second one goes down four units, then up four units. So this graph looks like the graph that we sketched over here.